What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my top five free video editing software recommendations that I think you guys should check out. Now this video is in no way, shape or form an in-depth analysis on each of these video editing softwares that I'm gonna mention. It's just gonna be a general overview so you can get a better sense of what free video editing softwares are out there and which ones would work best for your setup. Anyways, the first editor I'm gonna show you guys is VN Editor. Now you might be telling yourself, haven't I seen this application on like the mobile Google Play and iOS store? And that's true, but this app has finally come to Mac and Windows computers. From the testing that I did with this video editor, the resources that it used on your computer were very lightweight. It was easy to import videos and audio, special effects as well. You can capture your microphone to do easy voice overlays that'll apply right to your timeline. One of its notable features that you wouldn't expect to find in a mobile type app editor like this is the keyframe animations. With the keyframe, you can adjust the starting and end points of an action within your video, essentially for making cool animation effects. That's keyframing. You will also find filters, titles, text, music, sound effects. If you look at the bottom of this editor, you're going to see all the typical tools from cropping, transforming the size, clipping, trimming clips. This app has what you need. For the skill range for using this editor, I would say anywhere between beginner and intermediate. There is more that you can get out of the desktop version of this video editor than the mobile one. So definitely something I recommend you guys check out, which I don't think anybody's really mentioned this app at all. So new news for you. The second video editor I have here for you guys is called Video Editor for Windows. A lot of you guys might not have known this, but if you're on a Windows computer, you already have a video editing software at your disposal. All you need to do is go to your start menu search bar, type in video editor, and then you're gonna see video editor pop up as an application. Go ahead and select that and you'll be taken right into the software. And from here you can go ahead and create a new project and then just go ahead and start importing the video clips on your computer. Now though this video editor doesn't have a timeline, it's super intuitive and easy to use as you can just drag and drop your clips in any order that you're trying to put them in. And if there's a particular clip you wanna modify, just go ahead and edit it and you can adjust the trim and the crop. You can add text to it if you want. There's really not much of a learning curve, if at all, using this application. So I would say this is great for people who are straight up beginners to video editing and you just need something to make some content without needing to take the time to learn an editor. Let's head on to the next editor, which is Shotcut 22. And this is where we're taking things up a notch. I would say that this application would range for people who are beginner to intermediate. This editor is very user-friendly and it's easy to get around once you get the hang of it. There is a little bit of a learning curve here, but it's not as steep as you might believe with all the features and things that you might see in the editor. Shotcut has a multi-format timeline and accepts a large array of different file types. From the video effects to the audio, color grading, it goes on and I'm so happy with this application because they continue to make updates over time. Now the fourth video editor I have to show you guys is called Streamlabs Highlighter. I know this probably comes as a slight surprise because Streamlabs is built on top of the open broadcast software which is used for recording gameplay, your computer screen, not for editing right? In the Streamlabs desktop app, if you go over to the left side pane, you'll see the Streamlabs highlighter feature. If you click into that, you'll be able to create a project and add clips to it from either your computer or the replay buffer. You can easily trim the clips within your storyboard. You can even add transitions between the videos. You can also watch a low resolution preview of your video before it's complete. And once you're satisfied, you can export the video, log into YouTube, and then post it directly to your channel. Even though the Streamlabs highlight Highlighter is an oversimplistic editor. It does the job and it's great if you're a gamer or a streamer and you're trying to get that short form content up or highlight reels without having to spend a bunch of time in an editing software and putting all their clips together manually. This software makes it easy. Now the final editor I have to show you guys today and it's certainly not the least of them all. If anything, it's probably the best of them all and that's DaVinci's Resolve. This is gonna be your top free professional video editing software, no matter if you're on macOS 
or windows. Some of the key features of DaVinci's Resolve is that it has advanced color grading. It's a very stable application, so you're not gonna be experiencing crashes. That is with the caveat that you should be using a pretty spec out computer in order to do these operations. With the free version, you'll also have your multi-format video editing timeline. You can add visual effects to your clips. There's motion graphics you can add. And to add to all that, you have great post-production features. There's of course even more I can mention that you could do in DaVinci's Resolve. But if you'd like to see the full list, check out the link description below where you can download it on the Blackmagic website. And you'll be able to see for yourself how much you can truly do in this software. Some have even told me that it's better than Adobe Premiere. Now don't get me wrong, Adobe Premiere is one of the standards that people use for video editing, but DaVinci's Resolve is right there, if not surpassing it. Adobe is still like, feels like in prehistoric times where DaVinci's Resolve is just taking off into the future. But there you guys have it. Those are my top five free video editing recommendations for your computer, no matter if you're at a beginner level, all the way up to a professional level. Now, if there's any particular video editing software that you want me to go in more detail on, feel free to leave a comment below and I may do a full in-depth tutorial on one of these editing softwares. All of the editors that I mentioned, I'll have the download links in the description below so you can go try them out for yourself. Make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.